everyone. I'm your host, Diva Danielle, and this is Community Link AZ. Thank you for joining the show. This is the internet show that's a resource for you to people, products, and services in your own backyard you might not even know of. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. Each week, I'll introduce you to someone who is helping to make a positive difference in the community. We're going to have some fun, learn something new, and connect in a positive way. Let's start the show. Hi everyone, welcome to Community Link AZ. I'm your host, Eva Danielle. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I appreciate you watching my videos, but you know what, you just can't stop by. You gotta hit the subscribe button. Today we're gonna be talking with an organization that helps out animals in our community. And we all love our animals. And we've got Melody Forcini. Forcini, and she is with Two Pups Wellness Fund. Now, if you're like me, this is the first time I've ever heard of Two Pups Wellness Fund. And I'm looking forward to learning more information about them because maybe you can utilize their services or you can help somebody be point in the right direction as a resource to the work that they're doing in our community. So Melody, I appreciate you being here sharing the work you're doing. Oh, no problem. I'm happy to be here. Well, let's let everybody know a little bit about Two Pups because I'm sure there's people watching for the first time who have never heard of the organization. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope to help, hope to help, hope to help them find out yeah. about this. Um, yeah, we, the uh, inspiration for Two Pups Wellness Fund came from Nancy Silver. She had two pups, Mr. P and Lacey, that she raised and took fabulous care of. But when they got older and uh, started to, their health started to fail, she had to take them to the many of that. And in the course of that, she was able to, she witnessed people coming into a vet with a sick animal and being literally turned away because what they needed was just, they just couldn't afford to right. care. And she made a pledge to herself that one day she'd do something about it. So um, when she presented this idea of starting a, a, a nonprofit to uh, Biff Haley and myself, we both jumped at the chance. We've both been involved with animal welfare for a long time, and this was our opportun opportunity to do something grander, do something you know, on a larger scale than just individual donations. So, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Just giving to the animals and just feeling that Absolutely. passion within your own self. Yes, yes. It's been, it's been a wonderful opportunity for us because we get to do the fun part. We raise funds to give to animal shelters and rescues that are really doing they're the ones that are out there, you know, saving animals, literally saving their lives. And these are all types of animals who are either abandoned, some are yes. sick and ill, some have just been like maybe a stray. Lots and lots of strays. Okay. And particularly this time, you know, following the COVID epidemic. Oh yeah, there's which been a is lot. still ongoing, and I know it's having a profound effect on the community in every way. Mm -hmm. And it's like the animal welfare community itself is reaping, you know, it's kind of a triple down effect right. and they're really suffering now because the last in the line of, you know, who needs help ends, ends up being our pets. Yeah. And um, many of them have lost their homes, mm -hmm. some of them have been abandoned, and when they're abandoned, it's usually without vaccinations, they haven't been spayed, so these animals end up with diseases, hit by cars, getting picked up, they end up pregnant, and broken and yeah. sometimes. So. It's a vicious cycle. But the yes, work you're is. doing is raising the money to help out the individual shelters who are doing the work to mend yes. these animals. Yes. So how do you go about doing that? Do you have fundraisers throughout the year? Yes, or? well we typically have two fundraisers, one in the spring and one in the fall. Okay. And these are um, these are fun events. We like to thank the people who donated to us and we want to make it fun. So they're usually pretty original. And uh, we just had a, um, a pup art experience uh, just last month mm -hmm. uh, to raise funds, and uh, we had we had live music, we had local artists, there was food and drink, and we had a raffle and a yeah, lunch. it's a big celebration. Why not, right? Celebration. You're doing the yeah. good work. You should celebrate yeah. it. Yes, it was great, and um, we had a drive-in event in the spring, which was a lot of fun. We were able to social distance and do a drive-in yeah. event. Again, another fun event. Yeah. People really enjoyed that. We supplied a box dinner and free candy and popcorn. and uh, Real fun, and yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, so what I want to know, I don't want to cut you off, but I want to know, like, because I'm sure people are watching us saying, oh my God, we love our pets and we know people who have, you know, suffered through the whole COVID and then some just strays you see in the neighborhood or you know somebody who 
unfortunately, like you said, are having an issue with paying those vet bills. So how do you or how can the community help you moving forward so you can keep doing what you're doing to supply the funds to these shelters so these individuals who do need the care for their pets can get what they need. So what can you do? What can we do to help you? Well, the, um, what you can, what, uh, mostly it's donations. We need funding. Always need funding. That's okay. the biggest thing. Um, the other thing. The other things that the community can do as a whole is to take better care of their own pets, number one. Mm -hmm. Make sure they keep them uh, microchipped and vaccinated because it only takes a, a loose gate for an animal to get loose. Yeah. You never know. It's something so um, small. Too. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a small thing. A gardener comes and forgets, or a child goes out and leaves a gate open. Right. Um, but most of the animals, the, the rescues and the shelters that we help are doing really hard jobs. They're pulling animals that are in very you know, are in critical condition oh. shelters from, from everywhere. And uh, the rescues, that we, we work with more than 30 rescues and we keep adding more mm -hmm. every time. Rescues and shelters. It's such and a big demand and a big problem here in the Valley. It for is. Sure. The, you know, this, the, um, our county itself, our county is still one of the fastest growing counties in the country. Mm -hmm. We have not kept up with animal welfare services. Right. We're way woefully lacking in those kinds of services. So the rescues and the shelters that are pulling animals from different places that you know, have been relinquished or have been found on the streets, they have a tough job. Yes. They're not only dealing with that. I mean, they, a lot of them have fosters. A lot of them don't have a shelter at all, but they do. It's all foster based. Mm -hmm. And. Um, just getting those fosters and medical, getting the medical help is one thing. That's what that's our focus is getting the medical help, and there's so much need out there. Um, and then the rescues have to find medical fosters. That's part of it. Getting the surgery, but then nursing those animals back to the house, right. and doing all that and raising funds is extremely difficult. Oh, you've got your hands full for yes. sure. But I love the fact that you're so passionate about it. I mean, just the fact that you're sitting here talking about it, sharing the information. There's a heartfelt genuineness that's oozing from you when you're talking about it. You've been doing this for such a long time. We're, we're just closing in on the end of our fifth year so yeah. far. And we're still going strong. We want to we wanna keep branching out and helping uh, rescues and shelters throughout the state. Oh. And that's, and you will. I'm sure you will. We hope so. Well, how can people follow you on social media? Because you're on, uh, what, Facebook and Instagram? We're on Facebook and Instagram. We're Two Pups Wellness Fund. Um, our website is twopups.org. That's T W O pups.org. Yeah. So um, it, you can follow our stories. We always have, you know, we're helping animals all the time. And we don't just provide the medical, the funds. We follow these animals. We make yeah. sure they got the surgeries or the medication they need. They become like your own. They do. They become I mean, we like get your personally own. involved, and um, and seeing an animal go from being in a critical condition to having you know, oh to healthy back again, to healthy yes. again, back healthy again, and Good. getting adopted yeah. and finding a new family. I just it is so encouraging. I, I love, love that. You do. You really do. See, and this is why I do this show to bring you resources like this in the community. Two Pups, twopups.org. Make sure you follow them on Instagram and Facebook, Two Pups Wellness Fund. This is Melody. She loves what she does. You can obviously tell it just oozes from her body, and I love that you're so passionate about it. So, again, thank you for being here, just sharing the information. If you want to leave us with anything that you have coming up in 2022 that you want to share that people can help support your organization with going forward? Well, um, we will have an upcoming event. We have details. We're still kind of working on it in the spring. Mm -hmm. um, so about it right now. Oh, that's okay. A lot of it depends on you know, the environment, right. what's going on with COVID. But I just want to say to follow us on our Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, and uh, keep up with our events and our stories, and you'll hear about it as soon as, you, as, soon as we know. There you go. <laughs> Two Pups. Two Pups.org. I appreciate you watching my YouTube channel. This is Community Link AC. I'm your host, Eva Danielle. Thanks for watching, but don't just watch. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.